ओके सो ए लॉट ऑफ टाइम दिस क्वेश्चन हैज बीन आस्ड ऑन द चैनल दैट व्हाट इज बेस एक्सेस इन द एबीजी रिपोर्ट और हाउ मच इट इज यूजफुल हाउ वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट इट व्हाट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस सो टुडे शॉर्ट वीडियो इज रिगार्डिंग दैट ओनली सो बाय डेफिनेशन इफ यू गो इन द बुक बेस एक्सेस इज द अमाउंट ऑफ एसिड रिक्वायर्ड टू न्यूट्रलाइज वन लीटर ऑफ ब्लड सो दैट योर पीएच becomes normal when pco2 is 40 mm of hg so this is the definition and how this abg machine calculates it so it's a long formula which the abg machine uh, puts the value and then show you in the abg report so this is the definition and this is how your abg machine calculates it so it comes like minus 10 minus 12 at times plus 4 plus 6 so simply Uh, if if the base excess is more negative that means your metabolic acidosis is severe and if the base excess is positive means if if it is in plus plus 2 plus 3 4 means metabolic alkalosis is there so that's the case but in today's era base excess is not got that much value you need to calculate the disorder uh, in the abg whether it's a high anion gap metabolic acidosis normal anion gap metabolic acidosis or metabolic alkalosis so in simplified way if i tell you basically the normal bicarb range is 22 to 26 so average bicarb value is 24 now if your bicarbs are 14 actual bicarb are 14 in your abg report so base excess is nothing but the difference between the two more or less so if uh, actual bicarb are 14 and your uh, normal uh, bicarb should be 24 so difference between uh, 24 to 14 is minus 10 so your base excess is somewhere around Minus 10. If your base actual bicarb are 30, suppose a patient is having metabolic alkalosis, so 24 um, and 30 difference is plus 6. So your base excess becomes plus 6. So the more the negative base excess, that means severity of metabolic acidosis is more, and the patient is more sick. If the base excess is positive, means you uh, you you need to uh, 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 patient is in a metabolic alkalosis, you don't need to supplement bicarb. So base excess is nothing, just the difference, more or less difference between the actual bicarb and the average bicarb, uh, normal bicarb, which should be there in the body. So what I recommend is, don't uh, think about base excess. Don't give that much importance to the base excess because its utility in the books and the literature is also controversial. Rather than go by a systematic approach in identifying what is the pH. and then identify the disorder whether it's a metabolic acidosis if it is metabolic acidosis it's agma nagma low anion negative anion gap or it's a metabolic alkalosis or it could be due to respiratory acidosis or respiratory alkalosis you can see our abg lecture which is here on the channel for this so this is what about base excess it is nothing it's a, no, it's not a fancy term the machine calculates it by putting it in things into the formula and for you to simply to calculate just uh, subtract the uh, actual bicarb in the abg from your average bicarb 24 i hope this clarifies if you have any doubt you can ask on the channel in the comment or on the forum and please do read more about it this topic thank you